Hi guys, this is Katie from Hooks and Coco, and this is my letter tutorial. It is my most asked for tutorial, um, and I'm just going to show you based off my newest design. It's going to be my first design of my 13 patterns of Halloween, which are all available on my blog. I'll put the link down below. Um, but I have my different types of lettering that I've done. So I have my October, which is a bit more cursive, and then the witches part, which is a bit more bold. And um, in the witches part, I carried through the white yarn the whole way through, and you can tell in between like the T and H of where I carried it through. Whereas in the October, it's a bit more cursive. It has more spaces. And so I didn't carry it through. I used bobbins. Um, I used both methods. I pretty much carry the black all the way through, um, but I'm going to put an IT apostrophe S in this top corner and it's the same font as the witches, so I'll show you what I did. Um, and I made my bobbins big, so I'm gonna do this with bobbins to show you how I did it. And it's okay if there's extra, like look, there's a ton of extra from my October one, but I'll just go ahead and put that as like tassels on the bottom or something, that would be super cute. All right, so I have single crochet all the way across until where my first color changes. So I insert the loop and then I pull up and I have two loops on my hook. And every every stitch of this is a single crochet. And so what I did with my bobbin is I do a slip knot and I make sure the loop is long. That's a personal preference. You can tighten it up right away if you want to, um, but you don't have to. And then I will pull through two with the bobbin and then I and that's a successful color change and then I'll go ahead and pull tight that black yarn and then I'll go ahead and pull tight the bobbin until like my slip knot hits the two loops that were on the stitch and then that's when I'll go ahead I'll actually carry the black through along um, in with the stitches I'm about to do. So I don't do bobbins with my blacks. And then I'll go ahead and work the single crochets of the whites. So you insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through too, just a single crochet. And then I'll go ahead and do that until I hit the color change, back to black. And that's kind of why I carry through the black. All right, and so I'm going to go ahead and insert my hook, pull up for two, and then I grab the black back from where I carried it through, and then I will complete the color change with the black. And then I pull the white tight. It doesn't need to be super tight, because if it's like not tight enough, I'll make sure to work the next stitch and that kind of like, locks the white one into place if that makes sense and then I'll tighten it that way so you can tighten it afterwards and I just leave that white yarn there I don't pick it up I don't touch it and then I'll go ahead and work my next bobbin Okay, so this is where I'm going to grab the second bobbin. I'm going to do the same thing, make a slip knot. Again, my personal preference is to leave the loop long and tighten it when I'm actually doing my lettering. You don't need to do that. You can tighten it right away. So then I pull through two and make that successful color change. Go ahead and pull everything tight. And um, also for my lettering, I have a pretty loose tension regardless. And so for my lettering, I make sure that I have just a little tighter of a tension. Um, so that way there's clean, neater lines. And I'm carrying through the black, just like I did with the other ones. And I'm just working my single crochets. All right, and then I'm gonna pull up that black and complete another color change. And 
and then I'll continue to do the stitching for the black until I am at my last color change. All right, so I grab my third bobbin and do the same exact thing. Make a slip knot and complete a color chain. So with like two loops on the hook, you will grab your color B and complete the stitch. Pull all the yarns tight and then I'll go ahead and work my last stitches in white with my last bobbin. And you don't have to use bobbins. If you want to carry it through, you absolutely can. You'll just see a bit of the white on the front like you did on my bottom witches part, which it doesn't bother me. Some people it bothers. If you're wanting to go like full bore bobbins, then you would need to do bobbins for each individual black that you come into contact with. I don't like to do that because I'm lazy. <laughs> And I just grab my bobbins and turn. I don't have a lot. I only have three, so I don't need to keep it. Some people will put it on a, um, like a board and they'll clip it into place and like, yeah, that's organized, which is great. Um, I wish I had the organizational skills, but I don't. All right, so when we're coming up to the initial color change that we did, this is an eye, so it's just gonna be a straight line, essentially. So I don't need to do any increases with the white color. So I just grab the white from where I dropped it, essentially, and I complete the color change. And then what I do is I actually put, there's this like vertical bar that kinda, sorry, I guess it's a diagonal bar, but I go under that bar and then into the stitch and that just helps create a neater look because if you have that diagonal bar and especially when you, you'll see when we come up to the increases for the next letters like it's very noticeable so i kind of just stitch it in with what i'm doing and that really helps to kind of keep that neat clean look so again i just carry the black through pull tight so then this next letter there is an increase and i'll show you how i just stitch the diagonal bar into there again. So I grab the second bobbin. Sorry about that. I promise it's not as overwhelming as it looks. So I grab that second bobbin and I'll complete the color change and you'll see the diagonal bar a little bit more obvious now because it's covering a whole stitch. So I do the same thing. I, um, I pull the black tight and then I'll go under that diagonal bar before going into the stitch and then I just crochet it in and I'll actually do that for the next two stitches. Um, so it covers it basically until you can't see it anymore. And that, and again, it just helps it stay neat. And so then I'll continue with the single crochets across. And I just carry the black through. And you'll see there's like the black in the other side. Oh, sorry. 
And again, carrying through the black doesn't bother me because you will kind of get those black peekaboos in your stitches. But if it really does bother you, then you'll need to do bobbins for each color. All right, so I'm coming up to that last part and there's another increase that I'm gonna have to do. So again, I just pulled a yarn from where I dropped it and we're gonna cover the weird diagonal bar by going underneath it and then through the two stitches and pulling everything tight. And then I'll do that for the next two stitches because so, I can still see it and that like, I don't know, that drives me insane. So go under the bar and then into the stitch and go ahead and crochet it in. And that just helps it look neater. And that is my tutorial on my letters. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments or um, message me personally about it. And I will hopefully answer anything that I'm able to. And if I need to make another video, if you guys were like, whoa, Katie, this was crazy. I can't follow that at all. I can absolutely do that. Just let me know. But you have your clean lines. You have your letters. And you don't see the vertical bars. You do see the peekaboos with the black. But again, that doesn't bother me. If it does for you, maybe maybe do bobbins for the blacks too. Alright, thank you!